I'm gonna keep it real with you boys. I spent probably about four hours uh, recording, writing, writing a script, uh, editing, and uh, like you know, crafting a, a tutorial video for, for today. Four hours. Now that might not seem like a lot of time, but four hours editing uh, something. It's, uh, it's kind of proud work and it's like, yeah, it takes some time, it's, a, it's, a, it's hard work. Straight up, I opened up uh, my last video to copy the, uh, the, the outro song and paste it back into my new videos, that's how I do it. It's probably a smarter way to do it, but that's how I do it. And I, uh, I closed that one down once I click copy and uh, it asked me do I want to save changes, I was like, yep. No worries, save changes, rename that. So, uh, part two was the last video that I made. And uh, it closed, and then for some reason, I thought it, I thought it hadn't closed. So I pressed X again, and uh, it said, do you want to save the changes? And I was just like, okay, no, don't save changes. And then it closed, and there was my desktop. I stood there for a second, I looked at it, and I was like, where's the video? Where's my masterpiece? The best video I ever made. Where did it go? Nah, I think you guys know already what's happened, but I deleted the video. This isn't the first time this has happened to me. My computer's crashed after a long editing session and I thought I lost it, but because uh, it, the Sony Vegas does a thing where it auto restores um, projects, so if a computer crashes, then it's fine, but if you click don't save changes, then it deletes it to save space. So I'm um, truly devastated. It actually hurts, the thought of it, my baby. The best video I ever made in history. I'm not even talking about just Rainbow Six Siege videos. I'm not talking about, um, you know, fucking Leonardo DiCaprio Oscar winning movies. I'm talking about the best 11 minutes of your entire life, the best content ever created is now gone forever. No, but seriously, I did actually just delete my video, my tutorial video for today. It was a fucking, a lot of work went into that video and it's gone now forever so I'm, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit cut and um, I went just then before to to start editing it out again and recording the voice for it and I was just like fuck this I can't do it I've no I've no I've no energy for it it's like I can't just start from the beginning you know it's like I'm just gonna have to postpone this so I apologize profusely uh, the tutorial video will come out on Monday now the script is all written everything's ready for it I just have to re-record it and re-record it and edit out the clips again for it um, it is what it is. It's devastating, but I thought I'd fill you guys in as to why you're seeing my big ugly head and not a tutorial video today. So instead, we're going to do a little update, a little catch up, uh, and I'm going to tell you about a few, a few different things that's coming to the channel soon. So I think uh, first things first, I'll talk about my uh, journey in Siege and how that's been going. Um, so I said last video, one of the videos last week, that we were looking to pick up another couple of players. We did pick up a player for about a week, a Diamond Juicy. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a G, I get along with him well. Um, that didn't really work out. The quality of the team probably wasn't there for him at the time. He was looking for a different standard of team, so that's ended up, um, that's ended up falling through. And with that, um, another one of our members goes away in about a week's time for a month. So uh, all things considered, I've, uh, I've decided to basically go LFT and try and find a new team. <laughs> it's, a hard, it's a hard thing um, to go LFT and to kind of like leave the boys behind and stuff like that, but I've been, uh, you know, with COD and stuff like that, I've been doing this since I was like 13. Um, obviously, I did take about a five, six year hiatus, but I know what it, I know what it kind of takes, and um, the team just didn't feel like it was going to be progressing enough to to do well in Challenger League. Not just do well in Challenger League, like I want to qualify for Pro League. So I just didn't know if the team was there, it wasn't structured, it wasn't stable enough. Um, so yeah, we I had talked to the boys, and we decided that it was probably the right move for me to uh, go LFT, get myself back on the market, and uh, and see what else is out there at the moment. So first things first, I just want to say a big shout out to all the boys, Yoshi, Azro, Habash, and Shant, uh, Tilted, Norton, fuck, if I forget someone's name now, I'm going to get beat up, but you guys know who I'm talking about, big thank you, um, we had a sick fucking few weeks, a uh, month, month and a half, I don't know how long we've been playing together, I learned a whole lot together, I think we all got a lot better as a team and understand the, I understand the way the competitive siege works so much more now uh, after that month or so with uh, with the boys in comparison to before so thank you very much um tiger from windigo thank you as well i appreciate the the support and the, the strats and stuff like that man it does help out so um yeah 
So with that being said, uh, I'm also a plat two right now. So I hit plat two. Didn't think I would hit it this um, season, but I did. Uh, a lot of grind. I think I played like fucking 700 ranked games this season. And this last week or two, I haven't even really been playing that much ranked. I've been uh, playing a lot more scrims and stuff like that. So that kind of brings me into my next point, which is stream times. So with the stream, it's been really tough because I usually get on around 12 o'clock in the afternoon my time. And then I pri previously I'd stream till eight, but uh, the issue with that now is that scrims for me start around 5 o'clock, 4.35 o'clock and we have strats to go over and stuff like that to work on um, stuff prior to the scrims. So I've been only able to stream like, you know, three or four hours a day, which is, um, it's hurting my growth. It's hurting like kind of my connection with you boys and stuff like that. So I think, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. What, what's most likely going to happen, right, is because um, in the end of the day, I can't stream scrims. Uh, it's not fair on the boys, it's not fair on the team. And uh, it, it damages, you know, people can see your, your shit, you know, it's just not the right move, especially for a game that's so strat heavy like uh, like Siege. So um, I won't be streaming scrims. So what I'm probably going to do is just cut the stream back from 12 to 4 o'clock uh, every day. Tuesdays, I'll be streaming the entire time, 12 till 8, 8.30 uh, at night, because I'll stream the, the tournament as well. So you'll, you'll have that on Tuesdays. That'll be an entire stream. And Sundays will be the Go4 tournament. So that'll be the entire stream. No scrims on Sundays or Tuesdays. So both those days will have longer streams. Uh, but for the other days, it's just going to be from 12 o'clock in the afternoon till 4 o'clock. Uh, it's a little bit more structured. Hopefully, it will let you guys kind of be able to be there more often and stuff like that. Excuse me. Uh, be, be there more often, because you know what times it's always going to be on. Uh, and yeah, bits and bobs like that. So um, hopefully that makes it easier, makes it better. I don't know, who knows? We'll just have to see how it plays out. So right now, outside of the game, um, in terms of my YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that, I'm going through this little thing that I'm calling Operation Health. <laughs> Funny man. Um, yeah, but I'm calling it Operation Health in my little uh, strategic plan. It's basically where I'm just trying to spend the next two to three weeks just really focusing on improving the quality of uh, the, the video, the stream layout, uh, the audio quality, the YouTube videos, the stream actual video quality, the alerts, the everything like that. There's heaps of different things that I want to touch up, um, like thumbnails and stuff like that, believe it or not. But the whole thing, I want to get everything, a more quality package, more well-rounded package all up. Um, so that's what's happening right now, Operation Health. So I'm not worrying about growth or anything like that. Uh, you've probably seen the channel start to slow down slightly on growth. So what's up my boys you guys are my my little base for now um, uh, my, my homies but yeah for, for hopefully over the next uh, two or three weeks you'll start seeing improvement in quality and just overall uh, yeah standard of content so one thing that i want to bring up that i just want to be honest about is um the fact that i am slowly running out of money <laughs> so basically i started um streaming in may this year um it seems like ages but yeah, in May, I saved up a, a decent amount of money um, from my job as a, a phone salesman and um, decided that I was gonna give it a go and give content creation a go. Uh, I won't lie to you, it's not a very lucrative career, um, especially at the early stages. Down the line, hopefully it'll um, it'll pay off and stuff, but initially it's not very lucrative, so my, my uh, funds are starting to drain slightly, so that might mean that I'll have to go back to work. I'm gonna suss it out, probably will go have to go back to work. Um, try and get some like casual shifts so that might change a little bit of the stream times maybe or shouldn't change the video times Monday Wednesday Friday that's when the videos will be out from here on out every day every time uh, without without fail so that's when the time that's when the videos are going to be released but um so one thing that I'm probably going to set up as a patreon so for any of you guys my uh, my diehards that want to help me uh, keep going with this uh, I will be setting up a patreon probably next week I'll, I'll explain it in a video and how it works and stuff like that next week um, so if any of you guys want to support you get some extra stuff like some um, like uh, gameplay review and a few different things like that because I've actually got so many different ideas that I would love to, to bring to you guys and so many different things that I think could be beneficial but I just don't have the manpower I'm not good enough at editing I'm not good enough at a, a few different things right now and I'm trying to learn it like I'm, I'm trying my best to learn the different fucking transitions and everything there's a whole lot go, that goes into it like I said uh, before uh, you know, streaming is easy for me. I can get on, I can stream, I can play games all day. You guys can watch if you want. I'll talk to everyone and reply to chats, give you guys some feedback. Uh, content creation is not so easy for me. It's a little bit more of um, a struggle. I wouldn't say a task, I do enjoy it. I love bringing out content and seeing your, your comments. You know, I still try my best to reply to every single comment, um, but it's over two or 300 a week. So, um, but I do try my best to get through every single one of them. 
and um, I love it. But there is so many different videos. Like uh, people have been asking for me to do uh, like a review of my own gameplay. So go through my deaths and stuff like that and explain why I died and what I could have done better. I'd, really, I'd love to make a series like that. Um, I want to make a big fuck off uh, like 50 minute video on basically the the ultimate uh, beginner's guide revised edition for 2018 Christmas 2018 um, for Siege, right? So I think that could be good for the channel as well. So I want to I want to do something like that. And uh, someone else also said that for for them to send in gameplay and um, me to review it. So like a higher rank, so if, if like you know for silvers, maybe the bronze or coppers, even who knows, uh, to send me some of their gameplay. I review it and give them some tips on where they're, where they're probably going wrong and maybe try and change their mind and change their perspective on the way they're playing a little bit. So there's plenty and plenty and plenty of content around the corner. Um, it's, just a, it's just a waiting game. I just gotta try and get it all done, um, sort some stuff out. I've got a whole whole bunch of ideas on how I can um, how I can kind of make this more sustainable for me personally. And uh, I also want to show you that then, right? So, cause I'm trying to go pro and that's that's what that's what, that's what what this whole channel is about. I'm trying to be a pro gamer. I want to go pro on Rainbow Six Siege as fast as possible, show you guys what it's, what I'm doing to get there, like the scrims, the tournaments, uh, the little tips and tutorials, the, the, the highlights and stuff like that. Or whatever you guys want to see, I want to show you that. But uh, part of going pro for me would be, um, uh, to be sustainable, right? So I wouldn't have to go work another job. I don't have to go work a different job. So um, as I start to kind of implement some of these things to my channel and um, nothing that will affect you guys, but as I start to try and make uh, myself, make this a full-time income, uh, I want to show you guys that so that you can become, you know, for the lack of a better word, a pro gamer, Not maybe not necessarily a professional gamer if that's not what you want, um, to put in all that time and scrims and stratting and stuff like that. If that's not your style, but you still love video games, um, maybe I can help you out slightly on how you can start to make some money from it yourself and maybe make it a career down the line. With that being said, I'm truly devastated about my video, the best video that's like that Tenacious D song tribute. The best song in the world. I can't believe I just sang. But yeah, um, that'll come out on Monday instead now. I just couldn't bring myself to re-recording, re-editing the whole thing. I feel like the energy wouldn't have been there. So I said, fuck it, I'll just um, make a little video of my face and show you guys, uh, kind of inform you guys as to what's been going on and uh, what, what, you, what you can expect. So uh, with that, my good, good friends, thank you again for all the support and love that you guys show me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.